What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War, my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as Sweden. So to pick up where we left off, we have been building up our army to continue bringing the war against Denmark. However, what we are trying to balance it with is the need to... Oh, can't recruit anything in... I can't... Actually, I didn't notice that actually last time. I can't recruit anything in Copenhagen. Okay. Can recruit, so I can recruit stuff here. Can't recruit anything in Copenhagen. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Um, but yes, we're slowly trying to ferry units over to a new army to go and attack Norway, while at the same time trying to, in a balanced manner, um, upgrade our empire. And I want to keep trying... I don't know, because I mean, we, we declared war on Denmark, so maybe if we defeat Denmark, that might be enough. I mean, I might get the Merchant House, because Mecklenburg haven't shown any inclination to attack us, but they have been building up their army. So maybe... Build another detachment of militia to bolster that force somewhat. Four more turns till our techs are done. Okay, let's hit end turn. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm at a bit of a loss to see how... Well, I mean, the pro progression of this isn't going to be quick, obviously, but... Limiting where we can, re where we can recruit things and limit how many like every single one of our units is unit capped so at least an empire the interesting units were capped but the the bulk units weren't they were all still available to be used yeah russia is really building up a uh building up a, an army there reno de España. bring our militia up to the frontier. 4,000 a turn, 2,700 per turn there. So let's get the Grand Opera House to get the plus 8, plus 12 per turn growth in town wealth. The guns can, the guns can just leave. I don't move. I could move. See if I can check a dragoon unit. I can move a, lose a dragoon unit. There we go. Doing this carefully. I mean, Copenhagen could do with better infrastructure, especially as we're churning through the turns. Um, the technologies that give us the growth per turn, especially when we're just burning through turns pretty quickly, is really quite helpful. Russia's going to Russia. We're still allies and we're trading, so hopefully our positive mechanics are still they're still working in our favour in their decision making. It would be nice if the Ottomans would declare war on them though. Workers on strike in Denmark. That's okay because they're okay now. As that resistance to foreign occupation goes down, things will get better and better for us. Clearances in Denmark have been graded, so that means our replenishment rate is going to be faster. Let's try our annual attempt to try and make friends with Mecklenburg. I mean, I could, I could, oh, I could declare war on them down the line. We're trading with Prussia, but if I take Mecklenburg, well, that's not a bad outcome. If I stay friendly with Prussia, it's only this bridge that I have to worry about with France. But the fir first thing I want to do is definitely knock out the garrison in Norway. So can the general leave? I don't want to... I have to have a turn with zero public order to break the cycle. 
Okay, so let's get a better infrastructure now for Denmark. Great, the great, great clearance is the great estates. Although, no, there's nothing in Denmark we can do. I'm reluctant to spend money on Finland because of Russia. Two more turns till both our te these technologies are done, which will be pretty good. Let's hit end turn. So, everyone's at war in Europe, but nothing's really happening. <laughs> no. Not interested, Britain. I don't want to get involved in your war against Spain. I don't want you involved in my war against Mecklenburg. I want to take out Christiana. I want to have an army in Copenhagen or Mecklenburg down the line, although they are just growing. They are booming, Mecklenburg. I want some good armies to face off against them, and then I want a force probably to head off, head towards St. Petersburg and take the war to Russia. See if we can increment, see if we can take St. Petersburg, Novgorod, make peace. Try and start to kind of chew away at the boundaries of their empire. So we've got 4,000. We really need to upgrade a court of justice to a court of appeals soon. Because otherwise we'll start to run up against, run into bottlenecks from our research. So yeah, they've, they're, they're churning out troops all right so now we can move out you under unit of grenadiers yeah you're still growing there's nothing else we can really be doing so I will try and keep making peace and trying to make peace and trade with them because I'm not... Well, maybe the Batavian Republic. What about just chill out? Very well, because otherwise you could be quite a good target. To be honest, that could be one of the ways we go about this is we land and take Amsterdam and start to fight against the French to try and gain some of this territory. But it would be separated from our mainland. So I need Macadam Roads for... Macadam Roads... Doesn't seem to be any of these. Because that's metric system. Field amb ambulances would be quite handy. Logistics. Well, to be honest, there's lots of military stuff that would be useful. We can't really send my navy out, or any merchant ships out. To the trade zones because they'll be attacked by the Danish Navy. Every turn we get where Russia doesn't get up to mischief, we really need to be super thankful for. But soon we will have a force to march on. Christiana, and then that will be Scandinavia under our control. We have another gentleman in Denmark. Okay, you've gone straight on to metric system following the, I think it's the census. Oh, they've both hopped on. So you've gone to public schooling. Handy. But the college at Gotha, Gothenburg is probably going to go for Army Corps organisation, because that's at least reducing our upkeep again. Should we upgrade the merchant house, but that's scary. I was hoping over time things would get better, but I think they might just get worse. That's probably enough. They get a full garrison. So I'd like three more units, but that's made you upset. Uh, 
I think you just have to march. Put them under siege. Lots of light infantry though. Wow, my, my, my cav situation is pretty low. What about my hussars? So I can lose both my hussars and not have any impact on public order. So you men get up here to catch up. 4,200 to spend. Oh, discontent's actually causing a lot of issues now. Well, let's go for a... Let's see if we go for the Court of Justice. Cranks up our tax base by 1%. Hopefully, well, discontent should be gone this turn. And the objective would be if we can take Norway this episode, we can then spend a bit of time building up, rebalancing, and then working out what it is we want to do. Because pushing on Mecklenburg is an option, but they've got lots of men. We will, we will only have our one, one and a half shots to make it work. Ooh, Denmark has advanced on me. And that's a lot of light foot. That could work against them. It could work against them. They would deploy second. Because they've got a better general than I have. I think, I think it's... I would, I'd rather have my extra cavalry detachment to fight them. With all that light infantry, that's asking to be flattened by... Cavalrymen. Oh, okay. You're rioting, so let's exempt you from tax then. Bring up my cavalry. Put them under siege. We're not going to attack them yet. We're going to let them... We're going to do it, try and attrit them for a turn to give them some... Give them some... Uh, give them some... Uh, issues around the strength of their armies. Great museum would be a good upgrade. Or, or a great upgrade. Oh, hey. Can't get steam engine tech because we don't have a manufactory. Yeah, you need to be upgraded as well, but maybe in a few turns once more of this resistance to foreign occupation goes down. So the suspected outcome is that the Danes will sally at Norway. Because otherwise we can just siege them into annihilation. I'd like it if they didn't sally. Because then that would give us uh, a turn's worth of, a put of, of um, depletion. No, uh, they take a. Do they take a? No, they're, they're depletion. It's okay. So their army's mostly light infantry and militia, with a couple of veteran units. Um, let's let's do this. So let's withstand the Danish sally. Put our guns into the line. Well, we'll put our six pounders in the line. Our twelve pounders can stay behind the line and try and do counter battery. It's raining. Six pounder. Deploy up front and centre. Let's take our Valvade infantry. Plus two militia. On one flank. Then we can deploy our Indelta infantry. Plus three militia. On the other flank. That's a decent raised piece of terrain for my 12 pounders then we've got grenadiers on one flank belt jaeger on the other maybe just sat in the trees then our cavalry can deploy ready for the counter charge Yeah, 
we're not going to see what's coming until it's on us. Not necessarily a wise decision, tactically, but I did forget about the line of sight thing. So let's try to run up at um, some cavalry. Well, not run. Walk up some cavalry on the flanks. I mean, I suspect the bulk of their army is just coming through the town, and the first we'll see of it is when they start to appear through these trees. Ah, okay. Cavalry struggles at going through infantry. Good to know. So what's the best way to fix that? Make the infantry run the opposite direction. Given us some visibility on who's where. Hmm, 12 pounders aren't really up for shooting things. Presumably it is a line of sight issue, but I'm hoping I can surround like these Danish Jaeger and destroy them with my cavalry at range okay, so my 12 pounders So we heard guns firing, but so why are you? Hmm. What are you shooting at? If you're shooting at my guns, why can't I shoot back? Aha, my 12 pounders have begun to open up. Oh yeah, my general, get back. Okay, their line is advancing through the woods. When they've come out of the... Oh, a lot of my guys hidden. They are. Militia. Second light foot. Militia. Regiment of foot. Skirmisher, skip, skip, shatter. Okay, so it looks like their right flank is weak. And their left flank is weak, to be honest. It looks like they're massing. Especially you guys. You look like you've been left out on the flank a bit, Danish Jaeger. I do remember the whole thing with cavalry is they, they are supposed to trot towards who they're trying to kill and then run in. way too long range for canister shot. You could just slam some shots into that block of men there. How about you guys? You guys still opening fire? You are. Where's the focus on their infantry units. Aha! Gunners in the woods. Ok, 
Okay, now's the time. Slam my left flank in hard. Advance my right infantry up. You, your general staff is charging my general staff. Cavalry charge in on the right, on the left flank. Maintain the pressure on the right. If we can make their Danish Jaeger waver, or route, sorry. Fall back, cavalry. So the guns can focus on the enemy guns to the rear. My infantry line. Advance and make contact with the enemy. Turn my cavalry around. Three units routed. The enemy dragoon unit here is very tired, so my cavalry is going to charge. My cavalry charge in to break their flank. The dragoons on the left look like they might win, because my guys are tired, but their guys are very tired. They are broken. Advance up my flank. Get my cavalry to advance towards the enemy infantry. One unit to pursue the general, another unit to pursue that routing unit. See if we can prevent it from entering combat. Pull my cavalry away. Generals, another now general wiped play. out. Oh, my f I forgot a uh, unit of infantry. So 12 pounders are guarded. They're not guarded by anyone, they just are. Oh, plus a unit of cavalry, that's why. The unit sat way to the rear and needs to run to pick up. Actually, you guys could knock out the 12 pounders. She trot over to them. You don't have to do too much. The enemy units that broke from my cavalry charge are back. Okay, let's pull back my cavalry. Go on, grenadiers. Open fire against the sharpshooters. back. Get both my field guns to go after these cavalrymen. Sir, sir, our is under attack. Yeah, he's fine. Bring the cavalry back into action on the extreme right flank, focusing on that sharpshooter unit. Got a couple of units that are in a bad way. 
You men engage the sharpshooters. You men advance back up again. Pull my cavalry away. You men are doing a good job at... Oh, those cavalrymen are... Up, they are upset. Don't get involved in the combat yet. You men need to rebuild your strength. So you men both narrow your positions. My six-pounders can engage and engage the enemy with artillery support. probably getting picked. They probably do not like, you know, don't like the amount of casualties they've sustained. It's a general staff plus the cavalry. I need to keep an eye on. You can blast the third light foot full of canister shot. That means you, good sir, can come over here and deal with their artillery. That's a militia unit. Full militia unit. Come back. Pull one cavalry unit back, charge the one that's in better condition into the combat. Okay, they've both been broken, so pull my cavalry back. See, there is a damn gun unit back there, but I can't really do anything about it. Oh, whoops. Not you. You men, stay where you are. You actually firing? Yeah, you are. Good stuff. Although you can change targets to that second regiment of militia there. Let's get my cavalry round to menace the rear of the enemy positions. Most of you men aren't actually engaging, so you can pivot to both engage that unit of sharpshooters. Switch my six pounders to round shot and attack the third regiment. No, that's line infantry, don't charge my cavalry in there. There's a unit of militia in the woods. Fourth regiment have been broken. So you need to push in and attack the militia, because we've got a unit here that's going to attack 12 pounders in the rear, then charge on into the militia garrison. You are upset from casualties. Understand. You need to engage that line infantry. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. I think we've got to get a bit more rigorous on the, their attack orders. Both of you men focus on the fifth.
bring in the Dragoons against the Cavalry. I mean, Cavalry just seem brilliant in this mod. Cavalry have carried me to victory a number of times. The men of the team, sir, must rest a while. I'm sure they are fatigued. The problem is, is just there's so damn many of them. Alright, you want to charge the right first light foot in the rear? Yeah, they immediately broke. So now we've got a, a definite break in the line. My general can get involved in some of the action. Again, that's another break in the line. Because you can face that way and you can face that way. So you can start driving wedges into the enemy line. Hello. Let's redeploy our cavalry. Why did you roll? Probably just up, just upset in general. So then this flank is at risk of being surrounded, so they need to pull out. Cavalry to hover, come over here and help break this pocket of men. There's my six pounders cease fire, my twelve pounders open up on the concentration on the right flank. Get my cavalry into the woods. Cavalry to try break these combined units. Where's my general? Get my general over here. He can also chase one down. My cavalry can push around to the rear. Looks like they well, they will be done. Okay, so now a new formation starts to be created that does something like this. These three units recover. General chase after the 6th. You men chase down this regiment of sharpshooters. You men charge down a militia garrison. Two enemy units have turned around to face us, actually. The militia garrison have routed rather than maintain their position. Which will do us in good stead. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Yes, it is. The veteran line infantry has been engaged by my light infantry. Push militia up on either flank. Because the third regiment is going to come into bother once my troops that have been doing stupendously well on the left flank arrive on the scene. Two militia units and an infantry unit who are going to reload and get some of their stamina back. Charge the veteran line because they will probably not stay around, stick around either.
They're exhausted, you're very tired, but you're encouraged because you're charging. They're concerned because they're being attacked on the flank. We've gone down to... Oh, they... they, 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 they oh, they're bouncing around a bit, they're wavering, then they went to... to um, steady. Good. Pursue the veteran line infantry. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I know they're fatigued. You can trot after them at walking pace. It's probably the way to do it, really. Third regiment have been knocked out. Oh, that regiment of militia. You men take up the... Take up a position to get some rest. Everyone else march into position and surround. A unit of line infantry. 12 pounders. Pivot your guns towards the line infantry. They're pivoting, aware of the disaster that awaits them. They're still creeping. You men advance. So whoever they're not shooting at, creep up. Well, not creep, per se. Advance is the true terminology. Hey, our dragoons that were routing are now no longer routing. It's a line infantry. I think my main problem is I'm engaging people too far away. I'm not pushing people forward enough. So the militia, they're not all going to shoot, but most of them will. So not exactly doing a huge amount of damage, but it's still more, better than nothing. Enough to break them, at least. Some of the militia at the far distance, in the distance, are getting shot down. Huzzah! Heroic victory for our men. We are now going to see, continue sieging the city. Because they've only got 177 men remaining. I suppose we should really attack it. The sooner we take it, the sooner our men... Well, I might just auto it. We've, that was a pretty fun battle, and that's pretty much a mop-up job. <laughs> don't want to liberate it. I want it. Well, I might loot it. You get ten grand, and they still love us. So then I will repair the drill school. So scavenger, build a sloop to occupy the port. I mean, they love us. I might even be able to move. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Top tier roads. Let's build a logging camp. Sweet. 2,700 a turn. That's what we've got to play with now. I do wonder... Do we get... Okay, you do the draw school up to military academy. You do get a bonus to region tax rate. The recruitment capacity doesn't seem, won't do anything. It's probably better off... Oh, maybe upgrade them both. Lash out. Sweet. Let's hit end turn. Maybe Finland stands a chance after all. 
maybe Finland will be... Well, Copenhagen wants to be garrisoned. I definitely want a frontline army. Ooh, a Prussia attacking Mecklenburg. Interesting. They are fighting the Prussians. I'm not bothered if Prussia gets shred in. I don't want to poke out too much on the continent. I should really start to focus on what the game says I should and fall back to my Swedish roots and maybe hit Riga and Mittau. And start to try and obviously St. Petersburg, which is worth a good amount of cash, 1500-ish per turn. So let's upgrade this college to a university. That will need doing. Need two turns to repair that government building, but then you guys need to replenish anyway, so that's not the end of the world. Agree these chaps to a great museum, I suppose. And pick up some more trade ships to go out to these zones. Get some more goods for the Swedish Empire. 3,000 ish per turn. It's not a huge amount. But then again, the the French aren't on the march. Actually, it looks like Prussia's on the march past. Could just be a color, a map color problem. Because they haven't taken the French territory, to, to French territory to the south of Denmark, but there is a dark. Cleves. I think they've already. I think, no, I think they've always got Cleves. Copenhagen has a cobbled, cobbled roads, and Gothenburg has universities. How has that impacted your happiness? Has impacted it, but not horrendously so. Growth is slow, but I'll take it. You don't have anything to build. Stavanger is about to be about to be garrisoned. Ooh, more trade ports. Napoli, Sicily. Excellent. What about Mecklenburg? Chill out. So it's fighting against Russia is going to be damned awkward because they're allied with so many people. Okay, so what we could do with, I think, is keep the Brits and the Austrians on our side. In any future war with the Russians, we will need them. Let's start to incrementally improve the territories we've got over here. We can recruit in Finland as well. That's quite handy. Two more turns till we get public schooling. Another turn till we get, although maybe, no, can't go anymore. Four merchantmen, and that's your lot. So we're not going to be swamping, no, again, Britain, no. I do not want to join the war against Spain. If they force me, to a degree where it's, you know, if you don't do this, you lose our alliance, or our alliance is broken. What I'm hoping, well, I want Russia to break break their alliance with me. Because then that way... Oh no, that doesn't help. I was about to say, that helps because of XYZ, but apparently not. Well, we're trading deep into the med... That's quite nice. Court of Appeals in Sweden. It's the next one up. Reduces administration costs. Incre increases tax income. Yeah, 11% becomes 
Happiness become oh happiness and repression go up. That's pretty good. But I think I might prefer to upgrade the administration building in Norway. Although, to be honest, we can afford to... Okay, I might just upgrade the market because they've, they've not touched it for so long. Although, now I, when I do it, that's when they'll attack us. No, I might actually upgrade, kick this Supreme Court upgrade off sooner rather than later. Then my merchantmen probably pile on to cotton because cotton's the more valuable one. One more turn till we get our new technologies. And a sparman. Gentle exiled nobleman. Plus 5% chance. Great. Of being assassinated. That's perfect. Good. Stavanger is occupied with a ship. Mm hmm. Or we could. Well, we could take Mecklenburg. And we could even push south and take that French territory. To be honest. Especially if the Prussians are going to soften up the uh, Mecklenburg's for us. But then again, I would like to have two armies for that. Because I would want to have an army that I can deploy against Russia. No, don't chase down my trade ships. Schwerin is now very poorly garrisoned. If I had armies that were free to take advantage of that, that could be quite useful for us. But I do not. My garrison in Copenhagen is probably still needed. May you men book it. Twenty-four gun frigate. I mean, it's probably the sort of thing that could maybe be fighting. They get a fairly meaty garrison. That's why I really I want. How many men can I bring my guns and some cavalry away? You men can push back to Copenhagen. Once they've once they're back at Copenhagen, they can prob well they won't be able to leave. Oh, they, ha they are. Oh, it's because they're exempt from tax. Okay, let's not exempt them from tax anymore. 6,000 a turn. That's that's getting, that's getting up there. That's more like it. Um, so, Schleswig, you can instead go for top gallants because we want you to get that increase in movement range Got to burn, continue under Army Corps organization because I want to try and get my replenishment down. We don't have any. Plus one treasury, plus one navy. Oh, I remember you were happy with both of those though. Nothing, nothing. Morally impaired. Jughead. I think the way to do it, so I've been told, is to do this pick someone who's got. Well, ultimately, is our treasury guy going to die anytime soon? No, he's 14, he's 34, so we don't need any of them. But the way I've been told to do it is to say, okay, Mr. Mo, steady as she goes, give everyone the same job, end with one you like, or one that's... This guy's the same as it was before, and we'll get an, a complete new opposition next turn. I should probably have been doing that. A bit more frequently, but there we are. To be honest, I've got a bit of surplus cash. I might even let's get another 74 gun ship under construction. We've got a bit of time before our armies relocate. Then we can land and take Shivering. Provide that give us another significant port on the on mainland Europe. I mean I have to take I should take it because I'm looking for 
ways to capture territory that won't really freak everyone out. Attacking Russia will definitely do that. If there's one thing I don't want, it's Britain coming after me. If Russia declares war on me, that's fine. Oh no, they're going to ch- oh no, phew. I thought they were going to chase after my ships. I was like, no, don't do that. They're my little dudes. Like, don't do that. Okay, yeah, their army's back. But it's just the one army now. But again, we, we can afford to take a bit of time to do this, to move our troops down. I don't think so Norway can be upgraded obviously Finland okay now I'm gonna upgrade the merchant house it'll take a long time spend a bit of cash in Finland because now Finland and this market to be honest let's do it so one more turn to get army corps organization that will reduce our upkeep maybe go for Ooh, don't like not trying to trade unions. But then again, I don't have any mines. Oh no, I do. I have one iron mine, but I don't have any industrial buildings, so at least I'll be able to accept it now. Or I go for the abolition of slavery, get the increased happiness from my lower classes, and reduce my recruitment cost across the board. For logistics, that's quite a valuable one too. Conscription's not bad, but it annoys everyone. Naval up keeps good. Hmm. Let's not worry about what we're going to do when I've got the school. Let's hit end turn. Our ships are going to carry on their merry way. Yes, once our army is rebuilt in Copenhagen, they demand... I'm going to... Okay, let's just get rid of the wars. I don't actually need your money now, so I'm going to ask for three grand instead. Fair enough. If you don't want me to, if you don't want me to give you technology, Britain, might be war, useful for the war against France. I don't know. probably stand to try and increase my artillery production. Yeah, Mecklenburg still exists. All they have to do is hold off Prussia for long enough for us to sweep in. Army Corps organization. Excellent. They've gone straight on to conscription, which I'm not that bothered by. Modern rifle. Ooh, general staff would be good. Modern rifles would be good. I might go for metric system to keep up my rate of research. Good. So then when this army leaves... Copenhagen doesn't massively freak out. But then next turn, once they've once they've combined, they'll march around and attack Schwerin, Schwerin itself. Go to an army staff college. Nationwide effects only apply when this building is your home in your home region. Lots of cool stuff can be recruited, but we don't actually need it yet. But it does gain it give us income bonuses. I'm really curious about when this where I can get this, Macadam Roads. Makeda Macadam Roads, because they're not. I dunno. Hmm. 
you've got better roads being constructed. Let's upgrade your barracks to a drill school. Same with up here in Norway. Our income is starting to build up now. We are not dom reliant on trade, because if it was just tax and our expenses, we'd still be afloat by about a thousand a turn. Let's get our trade ships out. Get more cotton from North America to help fund our expansion. No. No, Britain. They don't want to give them two technologies and break trade relations with the King of Kingdom of Spain. But then again, that's the kind of thing I should really be doing to keep Britain on side, is to go, okay, I'll give you some good techs, which I need Britain to have, because I want them to be strong against France, because we are also at war with France. Okay, what if I counter-offer? Give me two grand. Hey, Britain's left the trade zone. But I think cons. Well, I should check really now. As both of the trade zones are now avail available, I think they have different products. I think they do. First of all, let's check our Spanish trade. So they gave us a thousand to break off trade with Spain which Spain makes up for in two turns. In terms of trade goods, there's tobacco. Okay, they're both tobacco. So we have got a... The question is, cotton, tobacco, or hides? I might actually get... I might just get them both, just to stop anyone from having any ideas of coming up here. Cotton's quite valuable. Tobacco is quite valuable, sorry. So I think I might want to do that, just so there's no reason for anyone to come up here. So we're on... Okay, so you, good sir. Oh! Well, first of all, we're going to wait. And so we're going to march to the border and see what happens. Will Prussia hold on to it? Then let's take these militia units that are finished get them towards Stockholm instead lots of good stuff but I am still concerned about my overall lack of mass that I can recruit probably by design because you've got Lots of cool cavalry units. Especially as right now, I have no need for money. So we're going to hold here. Let's see if they rebel and get kicked out of Schwerin. Otherwise, we might march on Hanover. But I do probably want to build up some troops to fight against the Russians. Heavy cavalry, yes please. I don't need any militia yet. It's going to really hit our income next turn. Well, in future turns. But we haven't really got anything else to spend it on yet. I'm going to get the Army Staff College because I've got nothing else to spend it on. And it gives us extra tax income. Which we will need because we're now about to bring in a whole load more troops into the uh, into the fold. So let's hit end turn again. So I am curious to see if uh, Mecklenburg overthrow the Prussians. I don't think they will. But they are heavily upset at what's going on. I 
or do I just take this opportunity to push against Russia with potentially two decent armies? That's the question. 8,000. Still getting a good... Oh, it's because we haven't actually recruited anything yet. Our upkeep hasn't matched where we... where we're coming from. So how much is Russia worth in trade? One and a half thousand and we're starting to get long term trade bonuses. I think I think the thing to do is to have a dog in the fight in Europe. Have a dog in the fight again in the war again in the war in Europe and start to build up that new force in Stockholm, I think is gonna be the the main goal. Can all of you guys leave Norway? Minus one. Yes, you can. So you may also get to Stockholm. There's no need. I'm not going to go mad in the spending. Because we're going to lose a... I'm actually, I'm going to go march forward to put Hanover under siege. It's currently completely isolated. I don't think we have any other trade options. Let's hit in turn. Ooh, the French have... There's more troops have spawned at Hanover. So they might actually push against us. And if anything, it will be good battle experience for me. They demand... Uh, counter offer. Let's just give each other tech. How about that? Yeah, there you go. National Census for Logistics. We came off the better... They w Prussia wants an alliance with us. But will that backfire? Who are they? They're only war with the French. Counter offer. Just an alliance. No. 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 Fun. I, I, I suppose in one way I could have accepted their offer. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to. If they want to kick off. Then they will be my enemy. So now our money should start to not dry up, but slow down. Workers on strike in Norway, not anymore. March up towards Stockholm. So our troops are being recruited. Yeah, our income's going down because our army up keeps going up. We didn't check our new ministers. And they're all useless. Wait a minute. This guy got... Did he get? Bon vivant, plus one management, plus one lower classes, minus one happy management, minus one happiness, lower classes, so they cancel out. Plus one for justice. So this guy is now a good justice minister. Which means I want to swap you two. So now you get plus one repression to all regions. Minus six percent cost to town watch. Plus one to max repression. There. Okay. So now I've got everyone. Everyone's at least doing something. They're giving us some sort of bonus. It's not bad. So then Mr. Essen. Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte. Put them under siege. Let them wear themselves out and then march against us. That's the thing to do, I think. Beyond the... Right now, there is no need for us to maintain an offensive. We'll just be taking Hanover away from the French. They've pushed forward... They're moving their line. So we want to take Hanover so we can control the bridges. If they take Castle and head east. They could still get to us. But that's Berlin. That's Prussian territory. One more turn to top gallants. Okay, let's hit end turn. Because the French may actually push out and sally against us anyway. Yeah, and they have. 
Awesome. I think that's a good time. That's a good position to uh, kick off the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a battle against a whole bunch of French troops outside uh, the town of Hanover. Cheers, everyone.